Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about PyTest. In particular we're going to be talking more about Parametrize. Uh, I already did a video on Parametrize so I will link that in the description. Um, this was a question that came up on stream which was, hey I'm using Parametrize to test my tests but I find that I have to repeat a lot of the options over and over. Um, so I'm going to show you an alternative to having to repeat everything over and over and uh, you know allow you to simplify your test a bunch. So let's jump into it. Okay, so the, let's, uh, well, let's get set up first. Uh, install, set up virtual env, pip install pytest, and uh, activate that virtual env on both places, and we're going to open up a test file. So what they showed me was they had a test that had a few different uh, parameters here, and they had done import pytest, and the test, you know, actually had an implementation, but we're just going to skip the implementation for today test thing and they had done pytest.mark.parameterize uh, gotta change the spelling of that at some point a b c d and their whole list of parameters here now they wanted to do a case where you know they had several different combinations of each of these let's just say they're all boolean for example so you know you would have true 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 and then you would have you know false, true, 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 et cetera, et cetera. And you would have to type out a whole bunch of these, uh, you know, 16 in total. And eventually you would have false, 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 false. Uh, or something like that. You can imagine like maybe they had a lot of repeated things where they had, you know, they were trying to test every permutation of all of these various parameters. And so, you know, they, they had quite, quite the stack of parameter choices here. And it was, you know, maybe a little bit difficult to test. Um, and I'll show you, uh, <laughs> do I actually want to type all these out? No, but we won't type these all out. Um, but I'll show you that, you know, this, this currently works as it is. If we do dash V, you can see that we get each of those combinations and you could write out every single combination if you really wanted to. However, you don't have to do that. Uh, the cool thing that PyTest Parameterize supports is you can do stacking here. So if we take, uh, let's say that we want every permutation of A, uh, combined with the rest of these B, C, and D combinations. So let's get rid of A out of here. And what we can do is we can actually stack the parameterized decorators here. So we can do pytest.mark parameterize A, and we would just parameterize the A variable here. And pytest will figure out what we want based on this and this and, and generate every uh, combination that's possible there. And so if we run this now, you can see that we get all of the cases where you know the first parameter is true, and then the second parameter is, uh, or then A is false, wait, where is, oh, this is A at the end. True, false, true, false, true, false, those ones there. Um, these ended up being true, true, true. <laughs> uh, let's say this one was false or whatever. Um, so you can see that it marked it, it marked it as zero and one because I had a repeated case. Um, but yeah, PyTest will allow you to, you know, generate out all the cases here. And so instead of typing a whole bunch for every single combination here, you can actually remove all of these and it'll generate every single combination here. Uh, B and do that. And you can see that we get all 16 of our, of our cases here. Uh, and so can this, this can be a way to simplify your parameterized code, um, by using this stacking behavior. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.